for the last uh, two weeks she's been on medication. The medication isn't doesn't necessarily stop the reflux nose and that goes down the back of her throat and then sits a little like probably about two centimeters above the stomach, the entrance to the stomach. If she's, she's been crying and stuff. Yeah, if she's not sleeping, um, she'll start crying every now and then. Hi guys, apa kabar semuanya? Um, kita mau bercerita tentang apa yang terjadi sama Java, ya. Jadi hari ini kita itu ke rumah sakit tadi kita bawa Java ke sana. Mungkin untuk lebih jelasnya biar Christine yang menjelaskan. So since Java was two weeks old, um, she's been having some issues with um, reflux. The um, biggest concerns I think we had were that we can't lie her down on her back without her um, choking um, and coughing. A couple of times it's gotten really scary because um, she will be choking so badly that um, her face changes colour um, and the other week we had to call an ambulance to yeah. come to the house um, because we were worried that she wasn't breathing. Um, So what they're doing is they, the doctors have sent us to see a specialist who specializes in the um, gastro, gastroenterology. So um, basically they, that particular specialist manages um, anything to do with the stomach um, and to do with the esophagus. So basically what the first step is was putting her on some medication So for the last uh, two weeks, she's been on medication. The medication isn't doesn't necessarily stop the reflux, but it um, makes the acid that comes up that comes up um, less acidic. So the acid would be burning her throat, whereas the medication helps stop the burn. So that she's not as irritated, she's not losing weight, um, and she's not, it doesn't hurt her to eat and drink. Um, the next step, they want to do a test which is called a pH probe test. So today we went to the hospital, um, the Women's and Children's in Adelaide, and what they've done is they have inserted a um, tube into her nose, and that goes down the back of her throat and then sits a little like probably about two centimeters above the stomach the entrance to the stomach um so basically what that is doing is it's measuring um how much reflux is coming up and how often um the tube has these little electronic electric circuit things in it um and wires in there and it's linked to this machine So what it does is it picks up when the fluid is coming up or the acid is coming up. And if we notice anything happening at the same time, there are three buttons that we need to press on there. So number one is if she starts coughing. Um, number two is if she starts gasping for breath. So um, if your the fluid is doing enough damage, it can affect their breathing. And then number three is if she's regurgitating. So if anything comes up or it looks like she's having to swallow it, something back down. So they keep the tube in there for 24 hours. Um, it was very traumatic watching yeah. them put it in. Yeah, she it? was very... Uh, she was very agitated. Unsettled, unsettled yeah. Unsettled, yeah. yeah. Even until she, she got home. Yeah, yeah and still now if she's... She's been crying and stuff. Yeah, yeah. if she's not sleeping... Um, She'll start crying every now and then, so we haven't really been able to put her down. We're just holding her. Um, also on the machine, you indicate when the when she's having her feed, so when I'm feeding her, when she's sitting up straight, and when she's laying down. Um, again, to see if that is in sort of correlation with any of the episodes of, of reflux coming up. Um, and then next Thursday, we've got an appointment again with the specialist to get the results from from this particular test. So we'll 
hopefully be able to find out if it's um, something that medication is going to be able to fix. Um, in my case, when I was younger, it was not able to be fixed by medication. We, I had to have surgery, so I'm yep. hoping that hers that. is not same. going to be the same. Yeah. Um, we were lucky that we're having these tests done now. She's 10 weeks old rather than, um, you know, 10 months when I, that's when I was tested. So it's, yeah, it's scary. And obviously for such a small baby, we've had to put these little mittens on her hands so that she doesn't pull at the tubes. Um, and I don't doubt that neither of us will sleep tonight watching her to make sure that she doesn't pull them out as well. Um, mm. But it's, you know, we just have to keep reminding ourselves that it's it's beneficial. It's, you know, it's a short-term process and procedure um, ready for us to find out what is wrong. Um, and she's young enough to not remember. So yeah, more traumatic for us than it is for her, I think, long-term. Hopefully it's nothing serious. serious. Yeah. Jadi, semoga saja... Enggak uh, ada yang serius ya Dan uh, ketika besok kita kembali ke rumah sakit uh, Semuanya baik-baik saja Dan Dan ini juga baru aja dia tenang Dari tadi tuh dia nangis setiap um, Setiap dia bergerak Atau bersin gitu ya Dia selalu nangis karena mungkin uh, Selang yang masuk ke dalam perut dia itu mungkin bergeser atau gimana jadi nggak nyaman rasanya kan? It's uh, 16 centimeters of tubing that they've got. Mm. Ya, yeah. 16 centimeter uh, pipa yang masuk ke dalam itu. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Mm. Oke okay, teman-teman, uh, terima kasih ya sudah menonton video ini. Uh, ya doakan saja semoga Java baik-baik saja. Kita jumpa lagi di video selanjutnya dan kita pastinya akan selalu update eh, teman-teman untuk perkembangan Java besok setelah kita pulang dari rumah sakit bagaimana hasilnya. Oke, okay? jadi terima kasih sudah menonton. Saya Santos. Saya Christine. Dan Java. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll stretching. So you can see it through. Okay, you put up. Yes.